Welcome, dear participants of the Emerging Innovation Summit in Australia. My name is Nell Mostert and I'm talking to you from the Netherlands and I'm happy to present to you my uh, topic on measuring creativity in the organization. Um, creativity is sometimes just seen as a vague topic, but I do believe if you can make it measurable, it's easier to manage it. And through this presentation, I'm going to show you several aspects within the organization where you can make creativity measurable, meaning you can put numbers to it. So let me start with slide number two, where you can see that I'm going to talk about eight levels in the organization of making creativity visual through measuring it. It's on the level from organization down to idea management, problem solving sessions, teams, individuals, even the um, ideas themselves, available sources, and measuring emotions, although that cannot be measured or measured on a 1 to 2 10 scale. But let me talk you through it. Let's start with the next slide, which says measuring creativity in the organization. It's interesting to see that each organization pub publishes uh, itself in a, in a different way. Um, I'm looking at websites when I want to measure the creativity of the organization and I want to see how many times creativity and or innovation is mentioned in the company strategy, in the vision, in its mission or on the website. Uh, here's an example of one of my clients, it's called Dawn Foods and his, their vision says to be the leading inno innovators in sweet bakery etc. There's the word innovation. That's a tick in the box for me. Their website says ideas that inspire. Well, that's also a tick in the box for me. Next to um, looking at websites and visions, you can also look at how often um, is innovation mentioned in the Global People Survey or a survey that is shared within the organization. So that's what my next slide is about. What number of questions are there in an employee survey about creativity? For example, creativity is stimulated by our management, or R&D plays a significant role in our innovations. So we are considered to be our clients by our clients as an innovative company. So what's the scores on those questions? And are there questions in your survey about creativity and innovation? Again, easy to measure and easy to count. Another way of measuring is, in a yearly discussion with your employees, how often do you talk about innovation or what part of their bonus depends on their uh, contribution to innovation in the organization. So this is with respect to measuring creativity on the level of the whole organization. So let's move to the next slide, which talks about measuring idea management. Idea management is this database. Um, the first question, of course, is, is there a database for ideas that linger around in the company? Are they captured in a database? And if that is the case, how many ideas are in the system? How many part employees are participating? What are the number of ideas in the systems? And how often do you, as a management team, have a decision meeting about it? And how many of those ideas that are discussed in the meetings are executed? And finally, you can measure the saving or the extra income that came from those ideas. Again, all makes it, makes it measurable and well, if you can measure it, you can manage it. Another level is the next slide, um, which says measuring creativity problem solving sessions. Well, it's easy. How often does in your company the employees have a creative problem solving session or a brainstorm? Um, and if that is the case, what are the reasons for such a session? Um, I've done 87 sessions within my time with Unilever and 42% of those were to solve a technical problem. Um, some of them were at the, uh, at the start of a project to generate ideas for new products and some were for making marketing plans and some others were for other reasons, for example, more on the cultural aspect of the organization. So that is something that you can measure too in your organization. And also what I've measured is the results. It says here that 90% of the sessions resulted in useful ideas for developing new products 
and project proposals, 30 and 60 percent. 16 of such sessions effectively resulted in innovations that can be tracked down in a product on the market. I think that's an excellent result. But moreover, the sessions generated a noticeable improved creative climate within the team. And that's something that is, of course, very happy. I'm very happy to see that after a brainstorm, the team is more bonded because they got, got to know each other in a different way. So hmm, it would be interesting for you and your company to see how many sessions were organized and why and what were the results. Another thing I did, I, I contacted my, the organizers of the creativity sessions I facilitated in those days. And it showed that 27% of the sessions did not make it into a project. And the following reasons were mentioned. Lack of support of the stakeholders. So it was a great session, but the stakeholders didn't believe in it. It can be that there were technical difficulties, meaning that the technical um, need was too high for the company. It would cost too much to have those new technology um, uh, availability that, that was needed to execute the idea. Um, it also turned out that many of the projects had a scope change, so the idea session was in vain. Um, sometimes it was said there was insufficient budget. And it could also be that the content of the ideas was too high or overdone for the project. So it would be too much to change the world in order for the project to make it happen. And it was only 6% of the cases that the participants of the session and the project team mentioned that there was just not enough time to, do, to execute the ideas that came out of the brainstorm session. So this is an interesting list uh, where I always warn the participants and the teams who want to organize a creative session to seek for support of the stakeholders first and to um, make the criteria of the technical possibility one of the key aspects when you choose the winning ideas. So let's move to the next slide where I'm, I'm talking about measuring creativity in the teams. Well, you can wonder, of course, how diverse are the teams or the participants in creative sessions? Um, are they women? Are they men? Are they uh, are from different beliefs, from different nationalities? Are they younger? Are they older? Are they from within the company or externals? Etc. Etc. So the more diversity in the team is said to stimulate the creativity. Um, so how does it influence the outcome of a creative session? Well, in my view, my best sessions are sessions with creative, with, with the scientists that know all about stuff. So they should be there. And I would want to mention the illusion of group effectivity. It's more important that the individuals can, are able to share their creative ideas because within a group, creativity is killed. The next slide showed the measuring the creativity of individuals. Well, in your company, you can measure how many creative employees there are by using um, team tests like DISC or Belbin or HBDI or Myers-Briggs. And um, there you can find who are the creatives. For example, DISC, the creative is the one with the is one of the 50 profiles. And in Belbin, the creatives are the plants and the resource investigators. It would also be interesting to know how many of your people are more creative in the morning, in the afternoon or in the evening. So you can pinpoint when it's best time to have your creative sessions. Uh, let's move to the next one, which is measuring the creativity of ideas. Yes, you can measure the creativity of ideas. Uh, first of all, it's done by the quantity and the quality of ideas. So what's more important? The more ideas, the better or the quality of the ideas? And if you want to measure the quality of the ideas, it's about originality and functionality, uh, both on the scale of one to five. Originality, how new is it? And functionality is how applicable is it? So if it's five originality and five functionality, applicability is the high score of 25, which is a great score. Um, having said that, the successful innovation, of course, must be at the same time new and easy to understand. So five times five, that's the best score there is. Finally, I would like to talk on the next slide on um, the availability of the resources that people have. Are they spending time on the, on, at the office behind their screen or do they meet with colleagues, meetings, the internet? Do they go to clients a lot? Are they 
working together with academic partners, with suppliers, are they part of networks? This you can calculate. So how many sources do your employees have to, um, to work on ideas and get creative impulses? And finally, but not the least one, it's about measuring emotions. And here we talk about fear, trust, fear and passion. The first fear is all about the fear of the burning platform within the company. How afraid are the people that uh, the company will not survive without innovation? So is there a clear burning platform? Do the people know how important innovation is? Trust is the trust that the, uh, the individuals and employees in your company must have from you as a manager uh, to be able to be working on their crazy ideas. You must support them and make sure that they are not without uh, that they trust that you will back them up when things go wrong or, the, or when things go terribly right. Then there's the next fear. Every innovation and creative idea um, will bring out fear with the processes and, and products that will be lost when the, they are replaced by the new process or the new product. So people will not be happy with the creative ideas. That's a fact of life. People don't want to change. And the more fear there is for a new product, well, maybe even the better the new product may be. And in order to be able to fight that fear, the problem um, generator must have a lot of passion for their idea to be able to execute the idea despite of all the hindrances they will uh, encounter. So within this presentation, I, have, I hope to have given you a lot of ways to measure the creative within your organization. And in that way, uh, it will give you an input in how you can make it manageable. If you want to read more about these topics, I'm happy to invite you to read one of my articles that are on the next slide. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. I would now like to hand over for the Q&A. Thank you.